Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, this will help me to reach a broader audience. Uh, this video is, is a response to a request from uh, one of my viewers. Uh, he asked me, uh, could I develop a video that show him how to season a carbon steel wok? Uh, I love carbon steel woks. Uh, in fact, uh, I use carbon steel wok for a long time. And here is an excellent carbon steel wok made by Joyce Chan. And the reason that uh, I do not use carbon steel woks anymore is because I cook on a uh, flat glass top stove. And the problem of carbon steel wok is that when you heat them up, uh, they undergo slight shape change. And so when you use them on a glass top electric stove, you can see that they will spin. Uh, whereas my Cusina 14 inch stainless steel wok, uh, the bottom is completely flat, so uh, they are more stable. Uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to season a carbon steel wok uh, using my spot seasoning method. I'm going to start with uh, 2 tablespoons of canola oil, but you can use any cooking oil that has a high smoking point. Uh, and if you are not familiar with this uh, approach, uh, you can take a look at this video. The common way when you season a carbon steel wok is that you season the wok after you purchase it. And the process could be quite elaborate. Uh, mostly it involves in the heating oils in the wok for uh, about 30 to 40 minutes. The spot seasoning method actually works essentially the same. The only difference is that you season the wok just before you start the cooking session. And the method is very simple and all you have to do is you heat up the oil until the oil to start smoke gently. And then you either turn off the heat or turn the heat to low. And you let the oil to smoke for another 15 seconds and you're ready to cook. And this is time when the wok is being seasoned. And basically you season the wok right on the spot before you start to cook. And this will allow you to create a non-stick cook surface each time before you cook. Uh, one of the best way to test whether the wok is well seasoned or not uh, is to fry some eggs in the wok. And, and for anyone who used uh, cast iron cookware before, uh, you probably remember that the uh, egg has a tendency to stick to any cast iron cook surface that is not well seasoned. Uh, similarly, this is also true uh, when you deal with uh, carbon steel. And most people do not like to use uh, carbon steel or any cooked surface that do not have non-stick coating is because of the tendency of for eggs or anything else to stick to the bottom of the wok when you cook in them. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the spot seasoning method works really well uh, because the eggs uh, do not stick to the bottom of the wok at all. So here is a clear demonstration that the spot seasoning method is very effective. Uh, this is a definitely an exercise for you to try uh, because uh, there's nothing better uh, for you to do it and to see it in order to see how it works. And now if the wok is well seasoned, uh, I should be able to fry an egg in it with minimum amount of cooking oil. Uh, this will be a demonstration that uh, in fact uh, the seasoning has uh, penetrated deep into the surface of the wok. And it creates a protective layer that will uh, prevent food from burning and sticking to the bottom of the wok. As you can see here, the wok rotates freely on the surface of the flat glass top stove. And it is this instability that uh, prevents me from using this wok on a regular basis. So okay, now I use the wok spatula to flip the eggs over. As you can see, the egg does not stick to the bottom of the wok at all. So this is a demonstration that the seasoning uh, actually hang on to the wok quite well. Uh, this is the reason that uh, many people have the uh, perception is that you can build seasoning on the surface of the wok after you frying different ingredients. Uh, another thing you notice that uh, the wok has taken on this slight brown coloration. Uh, these are in fact burnt carbonaceous materials. You probably notice that uh, many of the carbon steel wok, actually the surface are quite brown. Uh, this burnt carbonaceous material, sometimes also known as patina. A lot of people uh, come to the belief that this patina coloration is a reflection of the seasoning of the wok. Now obviously, um, 
oil uh, could be dissolved by soap. And so many people are concerned about uh, not to wash the walk with soap and to remove this patina layer. Uh, based on my research and experimentation, I discovered that this patina layer is nothing to do with the seasoning of the wok. Uh, I discovered that I can scrub that patina layer completely off and to uh, restore the wok to its original shiny uh, state. And then each time when I use my spot seasoning method, I can guarantee that uh, I will have a non-stick cooked surface. Uh, so that patina coloration has nothing to do with the non-stick property of the wok. Uh, if you have a carbon steel wok, I will urge uh, you to give this exercise a try. Uh, uh, you will see how it works. I remember when I first purchased my carbon steel wok, uh, I followed the method uh, provided by the manufacturer uh, to season the wok. It was labor intensive and it took about 30 to uh, 45 minutes to accomplish the task. And I was under the impression that once you season it, uh, it will be good for a long time, uh, if not forever. And for those of you who have used carbon steel wok, uh, you probably will know that uh, the seasoning wears off depending on what you cook in the wok. And I start to have uh, food stick and burn to the wok. And now I no longer have problem uh, because of the spot seasoning method. Uh, by using this method, it only takes about 15 to 20 seconds. You can use this method each time uh, before you start a stir frying session. And this will guarantee that you will have a non-stick cooked surface. And if you have problem with food stick and burn to your carbon steel wok, you should give this a try. I think you will be impressed. And of course, this not only works with carbon steel wok, it also works with standard steel wok, cast iron wok, and light cast iron woks. I post a video each day to help people to adopt my fast cooking system so that they can make home cooking as part of this daily routine. If you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.